Meanwhile, booster shots are slowly rolling out in the Bay Area. KPIX 5's Devin Feely has more on why booster shots are important. The rollout of the booster shots in Santa Clara County and across the Bay Area has been sluggish. It's been slow. The turnout, frankly, has not been great. And the concern of public health officials is that minus the booster, you may not be nearly as protected as you think. People trickled into the county's mass vaccination site at the fairgrounds looking for a booster shot this afternoon. It's been enough of a disruption in the world that people should do what they can. Thomas Peters is an orthodontist and wanted to get his third shot for professional and personal reasons. I'm over 65, so I'm in kind of a high-risk group, so I wanted to make sure that I was protect had the best protection I could have. Thomas, however, is more the exception than the rule. In Santa Clara County, just under 1.5 million people are fully vaccinated, but fewer than 67,000 have gotten a booster. The messaging has been quite confusing to people in terms of who is eligible for a booster shot. For people who received the Pfizer vaccine at least six months ago, Dr. Jennifer Tong says that anyone 65 and up is automatically eligible for the booster, as is anyone with at least one underlying medical condition or anyone with a significant risk of exposure to the virus. It's fair to say that we are not turning people away because the definitions of risk of exposure are so broad. The definitions of underlying medical conditions are so broad. Basically, if you want a booster shot, you can get a booster shot. The challenge may be convincing people that they want or need one. They're starting to find that the vaccine wears off sooner than what they originally thought. I think it is important to stay up on these vaccines. The CDC is expected to give approval of the Moderna and J&J &J booster shots later this week. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.